I call this meeting of Ohio Kane Fiscal Court to order on this 22nd day of September 2020 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and a place of flag. Lord, we just thank you for this another day you've given us. Lord, we're so thankful for the many blessings. Lord, we just ask you to be with all these people that's been affected by this cold week. And Lord, we're just asking you to come up with a solution to, to change things around. And God, help us to do the business in a pleasing matter to you. And just go with us, lead us, and guide us in Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, before you, you have the minutes of the September 8th meeting. Uh, the motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Sam Moss. Second by Larry Count. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. like sign. Motion carried. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. Now, late, late list. Make the motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? I'm just glancing at the wait list. And that late, late one is a transfer that has to do pay for the excavator. She don't, uh, Ann keeps her money in different pockets. And she has to get her uh, approval to reach in one pocket and put another. Is that a pretty good analogy? Yeah. But it's not real money. No. It's just on paper. Right. That's a lot of credit there. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The bills and things are paid. Uh, we have to acknowledge the, that we got the Board of Assessment Appeals Certificate. I uh, actually don't have it in my hand, but it basically nobody appealed their property tax this year. Nobody, the meeting was held, but they didn't, anyone. Uh, so you just apologize. need an acknowledgement then? Or yeah. I'll just make it to the acknowledge that we got the uh, assessment. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second by Larry Cam. Uh, is there any discussion? Uh, we're going to call for a vote, but I do want to put a uh, brag out on our PBA's office for doing this so many times. Most counties do not have this, and uh, in all the years I've been in the office, there's only been one appeal on property taxes. So that what that shows us is that PVA's office is working with the people, uh, and if they have a disagreement, they're getting it set. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed like sign. That's taken care of. Hey, Judge, on that bills and claims, you didn't get a motion or a second. Do you want to go ahead and get that on record? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I made a motion. A motion okay. and second. I, okay, I didn't hear. Yeah, Jason and Larry. Uh, this is something we've been waiting for a long time, and we're going to push it. Uh, just got it today. What about two o'clock, Miranda? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to uh, we we get to make official what we did a few weeks ago, or a couple months ago, on our flex funds. And uh, I need a motion to approve resolution. 2021-2. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. And Second by Jason Bullock. No changes to any of the things we submitted. No. No complications with the state on. And I need everyone's signature on it, so. Pass it on down. I, and I, so you're going to sign it for the. I checked with that. Go ahead and pass it. Let's get it done right now so you, you'll have it. And uh, you can date everybody. Well, no, I do it. 922. It's coming down. Oh, that's just a jerky. Yeah. What do you think is the latest that Scotty's with Blacktop? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
when they vote. Yeah, yeah. You go and sign it, and then we are. Are you going to do a roll call now? Uh, yeah, go and roll call it, Miranda. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, about the usually it's mid November. Yeah, it's in November. Usually it's mid November. I'm, I'm sure that depends a lot on the weather, though. It seems like it's got colder yeah. lately, though. Yeah. Yeah. We're just having a little, what do they call it, summer? We've actually stayed warm longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, longer, but yeah. So this little cool spell. Maybe it's just pretty normal. normal. Mm -hmm. One year that ain't no way you're ready to. Uh, and it was already time to be on. Well, it's so hot. Yeah, it's mostly it's hot. Usually it's a hot, I don't know. But this year, it'll have Saturday. It's been nice. Just to know you initial my exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we've got that. Now then, uh, we got the bids are in for the uh, tractor mower. Uh, I want to ask a couple of you to open them. Why don't... Uh, Sam, you're close to it. And Joe, you go over and help her open. Okay? And write them down. Let me go. Yeah. Both. This is for tracker? Yeah. <coughs> I've just got a big envelope addressed to the physical court and tractor bid. It doesn't say anything on the outside envelope. Can you write them down as they read them, Miranda? Maybe you're going to have yours first. No, Jason's got his first. Go ahead and read it, Jason. You got yours ready there. I've got four bids here, though. It's I got H&R, Agri-Power. H&R? Yep. Yeah. This is uh, Agri-Power Tractor Bid 100 C tractor, 100 horsepower engine, power shuttle, shift transmission, cab heat and air, and Bluetooth radio. Air ride seat, this buddy seat, two rear view mirrors, two sets of hydraulic remotes, a 540 and 1000 PTO, fluid in the rear tires, two year warranty with 2000 IR. And it's forty six thousand six hundred dollars. And is that with the mow? No, we just advertised for the tractor. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You said forty six six. Forty six six. What brand is that? That's a Case IH no, it, all one hundred C. Is it a new one or you? You said uh, something about two years. It's a two year warranty, warranty. two thousand uh, hour warranty. Okay, so, whichever one you read, read again. Yeah. Now okay. this is just the bids on the tractor. So this tractor. Yeah. <coughs> Was you going to have one on the excavator as well? We did that. We did that. We did that. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Okay, I have four from, uh, is it Hobdy, Die, and Reed? Yeah. Okay, I have a Kubota, Kubota M6S, 105 uh, horsepower. Sixty-two thousand and a hundred dollars. Sixty-two thousand one hundred dollars. Okay. They also have a New Holland, one hundred and thirty-five uh, engine horsepower. Eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and ninety-five dollars. Here's another Kubota with a hundred and six uh, horsepower engine. It's an M6, same. It's seventy-five thousand four hundred dollars. How much, Jason? Seventy-five thousand four hundred dollars. And here is a New Holland, hundred and seven engine horsepower, with it's seventy thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. These are all based out of Hardinsburg, Kentucky. Okay. Same company. Okay. Uh, now then, uh, Sam, what you? So got? I have. Uh, I have right implement. Uh, this is a 5100E cab four wheel drive 12 by 12 air seat, uh, 12 by 12 transmission. Uh, 
dual rear remotes, dual mid remotes. Uh, 51,838.12 and uh, that is, they gave a big discount on it. So the final price is 51,838. What horsepower is that? Uh, what horsepower? I think we have tested for 100 horse, didn't we? Yeah, we put a minimum of 100. I believe it's I think it's, I think it's what a 5100 is, <coughs> 5000 series 100 horse. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, is that all of them? That? Is that yeah. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we set the case IH for $46,600. I should have received, you should have put four over there. Yeah, but one of them ain't a bid. Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't want to open it. It's on the face side. Uh, Where's the case out of they local? H&R is a... Uh, 431 uh, over Owensboro. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, that's going to be a... Oh. That's 5,000 something uh, more than the... Do the math for me, somebody. Well, it's about... Uh, 51,838. 51, 51,838. Almost 6,000. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course, we don't have any case I stuff at the county at all. Uh, but, is, you know what? Is right implement, is that John Deere? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what is, what is Nick, what is he? He, he, he likes, he, he likes to, I think he went and looked at all these ones that, that they, uh, he likes the John Deere course, like we all do. But. That's probably not enough on its own. No, he's got a lot of green paint. Yeah. I like I like uh, John Deere's too. But, uh, but I know uh, I haven't had much deal with the case lately, but uh, they make a, they have in the past made good products, especially back old stuff. So. Well, we do have case products. We got case yes, right. products. But we got didn't back. we have a couple of cases years ago, David? Yeah, and, and, and they weren't good. But it could have been the way it's treated. It could have been whatever. Yeah. And that was early on when we first started getting boat trims, and they had boat trims on. Yeah. What, uh, I don't know, Sam, what kind of warranty do the uh, John Deere got on? They do. Over there. The case has a two year, yeah, 2,000 miles. The warranty. Did you see? Or 200 to 2,000 miles. 200 hours. 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours, Jake. 2,000 hours, two years. Say, uh, Warranty type, uh, default warranty, expiration date was March 27th, 2030. I don't know what that means. I don't, ten. Believe, I don't believe they get two times. That's ten a 10 year warranty? Yeah. Yep. You get cars with 10 years warranties, huh? Yeah, you don't get tractors. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Machine build date was March 26, 2020. So March 27th, 2030 is your, I guess, uh, let's see, component numbers. Transmission, synchronizers, axles, four wheel drive, SCR, after treatment, uh, engine, cab, and your filter oxidation DOC, which is your death fluid. Uh, well, that's a lot of different things. Pass that around and make sure everybody sees what they're doing. No, okay. 120 month, um, zero hours is what it says. Coverage term, 120 month, zero hours. You mean you drive it off the lot, the warranty's out? Well, I guess it's, I mean, it's unlimited hours. Unlimited hours for 120 yeah, years. Dang. 120 months. That, and that's almost everything. If you talk, that's all your big ticket on. Your yeah. motor, your transmission. Yeah, that's what default mean now. Do what? Yeah, default warranty just is it? I don't know. I have at least an idea. That's just what it, it says it covered down below it there on the back. Did I see that? Too? Yes. Here, yeah, I'll give you both of them. Let's that, you know. that warranty makes a big difference. It, 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 it is. If it's anything to that. That's it. I'm like Joe. I never heard of that. Well, the years. Years. No. They, they brag on it. Well, the John Deere track out of it. 
I believe it's all those no fault that, I mean after treatment and then on the back as the rest we'll of look it up for uh, engine cab filter which is your cab fluid. Here's your here's the rest of it. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what guys, I know it's six thousand dollars difference, but now uh, that's a lot of warranty, so yeah. I don't I'm but not. I'm not sure that that wasn't a typo or whatever the case may be. Well, but they, they have 120 months out there, and then they, they have an expiration date. They break. They match it. They've done it two places. So they did it twice. So the expiration date is just said, uh, while we're here to call him, that's 10 years anyway. Yeah, see if you can find out. Let me just uh, call him and find out. Yeah, do that, because uh, that's. Uh, That'll make a difference in my vote one way or the other on the, who gets to be. So. Oh, I'm definitely, I, I definitely, well, that, that's a, to me, that's a deal maker that yeah. that warranty is. Here, hang on one second. Hey, I'm calling on that. So just hang on the two years or the? No, I'm calling ten. on the John ten. Here. Oh, he's, okay. that was calling. He, he is sorry. Okay. okay. Hey, uh, Joe, find out what the default warranty. I that's what I'm trying to look up. A, a, I know that shows that. Oh, Bruce. Hey, this is Sam Small. How you doing? Hey, uh, I'm here at court. I'm looking over your bid. Uh, we're in open court. The warranty says 10 years on the items. Is that right? Default warranty? He's got it. The 5100E model. Did you look at them? Go online, it just says local dealer. This said this. So, is that? Uh, component? All right. So, this said uh, warranty coverage, default warranty, 120 months, zero hours to March 27th, 2030. Uh, 3,479 days. Oh, he gave it in days, even. Uh, yeah. It's gave it years yeah. and months and days. I thought he said it's typo. We ought to be on there probably. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'll let you go. What's that? Uh, Hyundai and Kia, they did 10 years on the car. Yeah. Is he on the mission says he's on the car. He's on the car. It ain't what it says, so on the, on the Kia. Really? I'll try to. You got a Kia. Yeah, 5100. And I've got 100,000 miles, but it cost me $2,000. To get the six year powertrain. To get cover them. everything. Right. The other one ain't. They don't cover everything. Two too. year on, on other stuff. It's two Joe, year, full it's misleading. You don't cover your things like your engine or your uh, transmission. Really? I got a hundred thousand miles right. on mine, but that'd be great. Right Thank you. Six six year year he's got both of them. Larry's two year full them. warranty, six year on fire train, and ten about? year on the emissions. Six year fire train. Now say it again. Two year full warranty. Yeah. Six year fire train. And ten year emissions. So yeah, you're definitely I called me. He said he looked at them all. He said the case was, was a little bit bigger frame and structure. So I don't, I don't know, you know. I guess that's a two year warranty on the case. He, it, it, yeah. It, but I don't know about, you know, if it's got any. Our train, which that's going to your big He's going to verify, double check, and call me right back. Uh, let me let me see that case again. I'll call and see. Make sure. You're, can uh, what you what you run into is uh, you're paying fifteen hundred dollars a year every year for warrant. Why he's waiting for a call back, uh, Joe? You've got a motion. It wasn't seconded. Can you hold that until I do a couple other items of the business so he gets that phone call back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that motion did not get a second, so it's on hold. So we're going to move on to the uh, county airport appointment and then the uh, 
extension office tax rate. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, we have an opening on the Ohio County Airport. Uh, Marty Shepard has has resigned. I'm appointing Bo Wright to fill, fulfill Marty's term. So, roll call. Cam? Yes. Marview? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Okay, that appointment is done. Uh, we have the extension office tax rates here. I thought we'd actually already approve those, but uh, then we will do it last meeting? No, we just talked about it. And it's the same. They, they made no change in it. Yeah, uh, that's what I heard yeah. So we need to acknowledge the receipt of it. No move. Motion for Larry Cam. What was it? Did it? Same. Second. Second for Sam Small. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Post like sign. That, that's done. Uh, let me know the minute you get the call, Sam, and I'll stop talking. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick uh, report on our COVID uh, that I do each court meeting. We lost some ground over the weekend. We actually got down to uh, 32 cases. We're back up to 37 as of day active cases. We've had 459 cases. Uh, there's been uh, nine deaths, and there's one in the hospital at this time. And we've had 31 in the hospital over the period of time. Total, ever hospitalized, but 31. How many of the 459 is recovered? Do you 412. Know? 412. Any lasting repercussions or anything for them? Or do you know? Of the recovered? Yeah. Some are. Uh, uh, we had a chance. Uh, uh, Ann was with me, and we heard about a sheriff in a neighboring county got him, and uh, he was really really slick, sick in about a month recovery getting back to work and that was two months ago and he's still short of breath still had breathing issues and i understand it does affect the lungs so he still got that uh, the uh, ages of deaths have ranged from one to 91. there have been oldest in their region that's recovered was 95. Uh, the majority of the folks that die are older, but not real old. Uh, in the 60s, it's the biggest place for them. Larry, Larry, and Larry, and are me. You, are you 60, Larry? Uh, so we're the ones that get hit the hardest in death. So uh, I just want to bring you off speed on that one. He's still not called? I, I talked to Nick. Okay. I wrote for him about it. He would recommend us making a motion to take it so he can look into the warranty and then the, the difference in the, the weights on the tractors and everything, you know, and, and the price, since there is such a significant price difference. Can we eliminate all the others except Let's just two? leave it to these two. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's just go ahead just for the heck of it. Let's put a motion because on. Because of that warranty. Wait a lot, Bruce. Get a phone call here. Hold on just a second. Yeah, Bruce. Okay. Yeah, Bruce. Two year, 2,000 hour full yeah. warranty. That's fine. That's what it takes for. Did you For the that one. Then you get yeah. five year power train, engine, transmission, that kind of stuff. The emissions is covered in the five years. Right. The case had a limitation on hours, though, didn't it? It had two same, 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 exact, same exact two years, I'll take two thousand, or, or two years. And text it to you so you can see it. But the John Deere did it. It was unlimited uh, for ten years. I think we'll probably he's on the table it until we get everything straightened out. John Deere got it. We're looking over it right now, yeah. so I just need to get that verification. It said unlimited miles on that. Zero. Yeah, that's confusing. That is what it has. Yeah, that is confusing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, there's no 10 years on that. Right. Right. I've heard of that before. Well, I'll relay the message, man. I appreciate it, Bruce. <clears throat> All right. 
I think. All right. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes, and, and we'll we'll get with you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bert. Bye. No, uh, we'll. I think that's what we'll do. What the road supervisor said. So, if you want to limit to those two, and then we'll we make a motion to to uh, table it, and then let the road foreman look into these two different tractors. Okay. I'll second it for discussion. And, okay. uh, Bruce just said if we need something in writing, spell it out. Yeah. He'd be happy to provide that. But that yeah. is what this tractor has. Yeah, when is the availability of either one of these tractors? Uh, the, the tractors, I think it's available pretty quickly. The mowers is something. The case is sitting on a lot. Yeah. And the only reason I know that Nick had gone and looked at it when he was looking into tractors. That's uh, something we need to ask too. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's yeah, what he did tell me. And he said he could go get it it's a few counties away and he could have it immediately. He did tell me that. Who's that? Right. He told me that, yeah. right? Well, I know we're way behind the morning. The John Deere. That is what we're talking about. about. It's the morning tractor. Yeah, it's, and <laughs> we, we really need to, I think, get it as quick as we can. Or, I mean, or both of Mother Nature them. will take care right. of it. Both of them are available. We'll get them both. We'll get them both pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was still entertaining the motion to, to buy the, the cases it was six thousand dollars cheaper, and uh, but if y'all are wanting to look into more about the warranty and everything, and you're paying six thousand dollars more for extended warranty, this originally you know it said ten years, and now we're down to about five. Yeah. yeah. One's got five, one's got two. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, well, no. The we don't know what the full warranty versus full warranty is two same. year, two thousand iron. The only difference is, is John Deere said they had a five year power train, and Case didn't. Case didn't say. Uh, but that power train, the engine train, that's. But the I didn't. I didn't call Case. I just, I just kind of hate to wait three weeks before we make a decision. Is there any way that we can make a decision? Well, you, to, do you want me to? I just I just want some mowing done. You know what I mean? And uh, well, I don't have a problem with. Uh, they did say the John Deere is whatever. in stock at this moment. Okay. I don't have a problem with the judge or whatever coming up and and between him and rope foreman sit down and make a a decision about the warranty, lay up everything on the table, and make that decision, and, and I'll, I'll be good with either one of them. So. But well, I do like that warrant after warranty, but why don't you leave it that? Why don't you go ahead and do the motion like that and then of course whenever we get all that information we'll call all these guys. Yeah, you want to make that idea. motion go like oh, that. We have to, can that happen? We I mean, we're just we're just gonna be if you take the higher bid, if you take the John Deere, we've got to make specific reasons and as to well, why it'd be warranty right now. It'd be warranty is building what we, we just have. need something to put in the minutes and it, I mean y'all feel comfortable. I'm I'm still good on the, the case for just six thousand dollars You do it, you just have to put something in the record reflecting why you No, what I'm it. saying is can we make a motion to look at both these and allow the judge and the approve the rate of spend up to fifty two fifty one thousand and allow the judge and the row form to make the decision. Yeah, you just got to put the. Put we can put the highest amount on there and let them to make the decision. I tell you, what you're looking at, the bottom line is what you're looking at is it's going to cost you two thousand dollars a year for warranty. Uh, after the both of them have the same warranty, six thousand dollars difference is going to cost two thousand dollars a year for an extra warranty for three, three years. For three years. So, is I know when you, if you have to go into one after two years, two thousand dollars won't hardly make a dent in one. You know what I mean? So. But I don't have a problem leaving that up to judge the road for him, and that'll be fine. Okay. Just, up just, to the let's make the motion uh, to accept the bid to 518812 oh, right. and allow the road for him to judge to make the decision. But you're still going to have to come back next meeting and uh, accept that bid that was higher and provide the reasons on the record. As can well. can they go ahead and yeah, purchase the vehicle, right. though? Yeah, I think you can go ahead and, and indicate that, but you're going to have to come back. I mean, and it's well, we, 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 we would order it. it. Do we, do we still got to come back? Yeah. You still have to come well, back. Next meeting, what, three weeks? Yeah. yeah. Three but he's saying we can go ahead and purchase the tractor, but we have to explain why yeah. we purchase oh, okay. it. If yeah. we purchase the higher tractor. That's good. That's good. So, so Joe's motion will allude to that between the judge yourself and the road And call in the magistrate. And, uh, and allow him to make write the check for yeah. 51. 
Eight with 38. Whoever, whichever one that they feel like overall is the best for the county. What about resale value? That would be one thing we think about. We'll, we'll, we'll count in, look into that in this deal too. So believe me, when we, when the road department sells them, they don't have too much resale yeah. to We have a motion to Joe Larry, right. second to Larry Can. Yeah. yeah, whatever that motion alludes to. Okay. Go ahead and call a roll call on that, Miranda. Yes. 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 Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Motion carries, and I'm sure you that after uh, Nick gets back to me on uh, on this report, I'll call him in the morning and tell him all the things we want to check on, and then we'll get back with you guys. And we'll try I just think it's ahead. important we do kind of what Nick. We'll probably be ordering a tractor, and then we'll vote on it. If if, if it's the the other one that's higher, we'll vote on it again next time. Uh, we got some uh, committee reports. I'm going to start with uh, Jason because I'm kind of excited about his. I know he's got one from the uh, Suicide Prevention Committee. All right, let me get a look up something here real quick. So our Suicide Prevention Walk that I talked about last week is this Saturday, September 26th. It's at the fairgrounds. We're excited about it. We're getting a lot of people messaging and talking to us on our page, probably 700 people. It seems like I'm always getting People replying or asking questions on that over and over. Uh, but to make sure I tell you right, they're, instead of the suicide walk too, they're gonna have several things. They're gonna have at 9.30, hang on, let me look. Starts at 9.30. Starts at 9.30, it's yoga with Abby. So if you wanna, I don't really know what yoga is, but I know it's some kind of exercise. So the women know, but they're gonna, start and have a 30 minute from 9 to 9 30 yoga with abby at the fairgrounds it's outside and i guess that gets you loose and limber ready for the walk which starts at 10 o'clock why do i need to wire i made that well something for <laughs> stretching and you know all the kind of all stuff. your clothes yeah <laughs> yeah and then you know the walk and, and we've got a lot of people signing up the shirts will be out there if you haven't ordered a shirt which we've had several several pre-orders for the, the suicide awareness walk shirts I believe we're going to have some extras out there. How much are they? They're twenty dollars. The walk is free. Uh, everything is free. Uh, the one thing that's not is the shirts. That's how we're kind of making our little bit of money. We want people to walk. It's not about raising money. It's about the awareness. So we we just hope there's a lot of people out there and support people and let everybody know. Like I said, the main part of this committee is to let people know there are people out there for you to talk to. Uh, we want to help, and if you're having trouble, you know, there's somebody we can put you in contact to help you out during this. But like I said, they have yoga at Abby, with Abby at 9 to 9.30. They have the walk starts at 10 o'clock. And then there's also a cornhole tournament. And I'm not for sure, does it start at 11? I'm not for sure exactly what time it starts. But um, let me look, the cornhole tournament, there's a cornhole tournament. It starts at 11 o'clock afterwards. Yeah, so uh, monster truck. Monster truck's gonna be there that the monster truck is just going to be there through the whole event there's a monster truck i think if you've seen our facebook page you've seen the picture all over the guys donating this time so you know kids will like to see that so like i said it'll start at nine o'clock with yoga 10 o'clock the walk starts uh, and at 11 o'clock uh, they'll start the cornhole tournament bunch of people already signed up you don't have to be pre-signed you don't have to sign up at this point you can show up to, uh, Saturday uh, we have a waiver form for you to sign once you sign you can go ahead and walk so if you haven't signed up we still want to see you there like I said all this committee is doing is just trying to raise awareness uh, for uh, suicide and that, that there is there is help for you out there so we're excited about this first annual walk and um, hope to see you there said if you want to stretch come at nine if you want to walk come at ten or you can do both of them sounds thank you and, and uh, I'm really proud that this committee's been active uh, sometimes we join a committee and and uh, that's kind of the end of the thing but this one's really worked they met regularly they've got things going they've raised money I mean they've still a lot yeah Ashley has been a huge uh, I will make sure that I stop her in the hall and thank her. Yeah, absolutely. I, I meet her about every morning down here. Yeah, she gives me a list of uh, things. I get a text or an email of, hey, Jason, here's here's what you've got to do. Yeah. So she keeps me uh, she keeps me going, and uh, she's uh, pretty good. 
Good, thank you. Uh, before we go to other committee reports, I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, the last uh, court meeting was asked to show the certifications where uh, Josh Wright is qualified to carry a uh, weapon. Uh, and I've got two of them. One signed by Nick Eskridge, Deputy Sheriff. The other signed by Doug Esther and Prentice Al, uh, Lace, Alan Lacey. And uh, oh, I can't Sheriff's Office on both of them. Tracy Beatty's name's on here. Uh, I had, uh, I talked to Justin and showed him all this paperwork and I also had him to uh, uh, call the sheriff, talk to him about it. So Justin, you can assure him of this. Yeah, I, t I talked to Tracy, and, and uh, Tracy's indicated that uh, uh, Josh went through the same type of training that I guess the bailiffs would do, which is which is at the firing range, that type of training, had to be certain marks or whatever, and, and that was conducted by those that, I don't know what the terminology, terminology exactly is, Tracy mentioned it, but I've forgotten, uh, but uh, Adam Lacey and Nick Eskridge and the rest of them were trained in that. How many hours of training did he get? No, I didn't ask the hours. He just said they went through the same type of training and that Tracy was uh, was, was comfortable with the training that he received. The, the, the arranged training took about a half a day. The other one on the simulator, he went through was all day with the, uh, uh, this other thing he, signed, he had here was the uh, uh, active shooter simulator. He went through it a whole day. I'd be the first to say, you know, this is not about any individual. This is about a precedence that this court set previously. Uh, you know, and I'm fine with this if, uh, as long as we have this on file, because that's what we made others do. Uh, you know, if this individual feels comfortable, then then my request has been met. Yeah, I guess my only question is, as Josh. Regardless of the training, has he got a good understanding uh, of guns? Sure. And if he grew up with guns and he was taught guns and taught how to shoot and whatever, then uh, I feel like that he, he has an understanding of guns. And I, don't like to I feel like he's got the same training as the bellows upstairs that are carrying, and, and if Justin feels comfortable with it, I'm okay with it. I appreciate you doing that, Dave. Yeah. That way we'll have the, if anything yeah. was to ever happen, and we ever needed to talk we already have documentation ahead of time and, and we showed that we, we did properly train. Well see, I already knew that. I so already would have to do it anyway. I already knew we had this training class. So if something happens and God forgive me, but we had a hostage situation, he has to shoot somebody. So the sheriff will be responsible where they can't come back on us, is that correct? Well, he'll no, have, no, he no. has the same training the sheriff's people do. That ain't my question. My well, question is, will the sheriff's office, being they signed off on that, will they be responsible or we be responsible? To, okay, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, yes, they would, but however, if the deputy sheriff shoots somebody, we're still responsible. Yeah, it's all counts. So it don't, it don't really matter. I mean, whoever shoots somebody. Well, I, I, when I'm speaking to Tracy, I, uh, you know, Tracy's concerned uh, uh, as far as uh, making sure that one of the reasons that he was more comfortable in signing off on this was also that Josh was a constable um, and uh, has has some issues with respect to understanding what he should and shouldn't do different than, than what, an, what another employee would have. But I don't believe the sheriff considers Josh an employee of his. He's an employee of the county, and like the judge said, there would be similar liability with respect to that. I think the, the more concern would come as far as in, in carrying uh, the gun home and, um, and possibly being engaged in some situation off outside of his normal work hours in which uh, if, if for some reason something went wrong uh, whether there would be any concern with liability because it is the county gun that was used off hours that would that that would be the only thing that I would that I would say that we need to probably talk to the insurance company about to make sure uh, it is covered. The, the, the gun doesn't leave the yeah, I mean, property. If he's, if he's keeping it here, then that... that it doesn't, that, unless it goes with me. He's, unless he's taking me somewhere, to a meeting or something, then it goes in that county vehicle. Uh, and when he's doing, he carries cash, large amounts of cash from all the departments to here. He carries it then. 
so he's technically in the county property when he's in the county truck, or if he's in the county uh, yeah. in this building. Yeah. It doesn't go to vacations yeah. with him or home at night or out on his rabbit hunts. Or no, it, it'd be the same as a as a as an employee. Heaven forbid if he, if he became, became intoxicated driving a county vehicle, hit somebody. That's our vehicle, so we're going to be sued. Right. right. Um, and but if he's on the job and doing those things, uh, right. You know, we would. Opposed to someone taking the county vehicle home and well, just driving it on their trip or just vacation. Just on that note, do do y'all have a contract with Josh or anything about him not taking the, the gun home? No, I don't think there's been any discussion it, with respect to that. I, I mean, supervisor and say that we don't have anything like that in place. I just you know, uh, Jack, that's I, the policy. I, I know I it was my I brought it up and, and brought before the court and pointed out last month and, and I am sorry that it had to go, you know, in open court. But I do appreciate your work and Josh's work and uh, my my concerns have been handled. Uh, so I have no further reason. I guess my question is what is the reasoning behind the, the reason he needs to have it? There is uh, a great threat to elected officials, but to myself, there's a, a threat to uh, departments like the treasurer's office who has at times had money on hand. Uh, hopefully not very long, hope to get it out there every day. So, but, uh, and uh, there, there's just a, a big concern for safety. Okay. And, and I somewhat felt like that uh, there was not consideration for our safety in in that question coming up because y'all know i'm not going to do anything except what's right for the county every time never will i do anything that's not right for the county. i appreciate you getting those uh certifications there david on hand the only thing that uh justin do you have any questions on as far as do we need anything in writing that they're not supposed to take you down on I, I think it's you know kind of discretionary with the judge if he okay. thinks it, you know if Josh is going to an event the judge may be there right. whether that's considered going home or not I think I think the judge will address that concerns if okay. he's comfortable with that so you're, you're good with that then yeah. I mean if you want something in writing certainly can but uh, if is there any other committee reports judge I don't know if this is committee or not but you were supposed to uh, do a thing about the extension office. Uh, I did. Yeah. Oh. We got a motion of second. Sorry, I missed it. Sorry. Well, you voted for it. But anyway, do uh, <laughs> uh, you have anything else? I have nothing else to mention. Jason? No. Okay. Uh, Joe, go ahead and address the issue that you talked to me about. And I think, go ahead, I think it would be appropriate to go ahead and make a motion that we hire a contractor to remove that tree. Since, uh, I did instruct uh, Nick to do it, but he's uncomfortable doing it himself and evidently didn't think he could. Uh, there's a, there's a large tree else. out on an old mill it's right on the, well, it's actually over the right away, right against the road. It's our it's, tree. It's completely, completely dead. There's not a, and it's been dead for a while. And we have several constituents that are getting concerned about, you know, it's got huge limbs on it. Falling on the road at nighttime, people hitting it. Uh, Nick and the judge looked at it and I think they decided that it's a little bit too big just to take down with any of our equipment. We don't have to delimit. So uh, if we need to uh, hire somebody, I'll make a motion that if we need to go ahead and hire somebody to take the tree down, that we go ahead and get the tree taken down because uh, I am a little worried about the threat of uh, if they had falling on a vehicle or falling in the road at nighttime and someone hitting it. Yeah, how much did Ned Longo then fell on their vehicle? Well, uh, I don't. Maria Everly? I don't think we'd have to get Ned to get back. We would yeah. get uh, uh, Ned Damon's stuff. No, they get the top state right away. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the tree's on the county right away. Yeah, yeah. no question. Sure. The road almost goes around the tree. I'll second it. In fact, I thought it was growing up in the road. We should get these to get the best price, though, shouldn't we? Second that. Uh, well, I mean, we're definitely going to do that. Or, or, uh, yeah, we'll see who gets the best price. But we don't wait on coming back to the court for it because it needs to be done. They, they talked about doing it before, but uh, I assured the, the constituents out there that we would we would get something done. Let's see how big it is again, David. I had a dream one the other day. I didn't like it. Boy, you get up in that bucket truck. Yeah, that's 
pretty tall. But... So we got a motion and a second. We just want to. Uh, if if a creek trimmer can't get to it really really quickly, I'm gonna go tell them to go up in a bucket truck. They go up and cut the limbs off in blocks of wood like firewood and get it down to the trunk, and then we get. But anyway, we'll see if we we'll get somebody cut it. We have motion and second. Any further discussion? Being that, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Did you say you're gonna bid it then? Yeah, we'll get that like yeah. rough turns of that tree. The reason I'm not let me let me no, explain. Like uh, yes, but not the formal bid process. But what we do, we'll ask four or five or all of them. We know how much it takes to do it. Yeah, it shouldn't be, you know. It shouldn't meet the. the well, 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 we might even assist in them if you'll uh, ask them when they decide to cut it to go up and cut it and knock it down. We may have some people to pick have it up. The, we'll have the road. Yeah, because it it will have to be picked up because the yeah. ditch is right there. Yeah, yeah, and we have to ask the road department to go out there and pick up the uh, pick up the uh, debris and move. Mm -hmm. Man, I, appreciate, some money too. Yeah, I appreciate that. If we can get a could get a log company to just not cut it down and cut the big tree parts up and take the log away, we could probably get all the brush away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else, Jeff? No, that's it. Thank you. Very no judge. I talked to a person out on uh, Highway 62 in the road. Is hopefully going to be open by Friday. Yes. If not, next week. I, I talked to somebody too, and they said by the end of this yeah. week too is what they They're uh, moving their equipment today. I yeah. talked to them, and they're, they're yeah. trying to get all the equipment out. And I heard that two magistrates had already crossed the same meeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, is it, was, no, was that legal? <laughs> no, no, no. And it was a nice bridge, though, wasn't it? After hours. <laughs> it was a nice bridge. Did they have cameras out there? <laughs> Trail If anybody else says anything to good, uh, the good of this uh, body. Judge, yeah, I want to say one thing before we go. Uh, I have uh, been praying for the the suicide prevention uh, task force and that. Uh, and you know, uh, I would ask that everybody pray for it. pray for this uh, event they're having because uh, it's a real need and and there's so many out there that that believe uh, there's nowhere else to go and uh, so I would definitely ask for everybody that would to say a prayer and, and support them in any way possible and that's all I appreciate have appreciate it yeah just keep uh, Larry his family in prayer yeah. he prayed brother today so yeah appreciate yeah. it yeah and uh, I sure know how <laughs> that is it's bad 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 deal uh, well I'm going to call this mega germ. See you in three weeks. Oh, yeah. Can I get the baseball?